So what's up guys? So the biggest question so far is did I get scammed? So I ended up getting a pair of Legos in an auction here in this bag right here. So hopefully I ended up getting what I ordered. You never know buying something from online or at least from Instagram. You don't ever know whether you're going to get what you, you know, what you paid for. So hopefully, you know, I'm going to find out if I didn't get scammed. So before we even start this, I do have these two Lego uh, packages I ended up getting not too long ago. I don't know which one's which, but we're going to go ahead and open these first real quick before we get to that package. All right. So they actually, you know, this is actually pretty cool that they did this. Dollar Shave Club, okay. This is not a sponsor, but you know, that's someone to use. I don't I don't use uh razors, but you know, still. All right, all right. I know exactly which one this one is. I'm actually kind of glad I got this one now because I've been waiting for this one for not too long. You know, I got this one on eBay. I believe it was like four to five dollars, I wanna say. And this is set 30240. And it's actually a really neat little micro build just because you guys already know if you guys are watching the channel that I always buy these little micro builds just because they're a lot funner and I do enjoy building them first and do enjoy collecting them. But I'm going to go ahead and put this aside for right now. Then next we got this Amazon box. I didn't buy this from Amazon, but they just, you know, we all like to recycle. All right, so first you got a uh, weird packaging, okay. Oh no, it's just paper, I guess. A little excessive. And here we got the snow speeder. So this is a uh, set 30384. And this is the 20th anniversary. It's really not an old, that too much of an older figure, but I just wanted this just cause, you know, I do like the snow speeder. And before I actually buy like the bigger sets, I'd rather get these little micro builds just I don't know, like I said before, I do like these and it's actually pretty cool. Uh, I do like the design on the poly bag. You know, you got the snow speeder and you got, I want to say they're in Hoth. But, you know, it's not too bad. I do like this, but all right, so let's get to this package and let's see that hopefully I get what I paid for. So for this one, it was, uh, like I said, it was an auction down on Instagram. I'll put his uh, Instagram down below if this comes out legit, but I'm pretty sure it should be. Now how it works is he just did an Instagram live on Thursdays at, I think it's at six, yeah, around six, six thirty. And all you gotta do is basically comment on there, you know, you get an auction. He does it pretty good. I do like how he goes about doing it. And then he sends you the total whenever, you know, whenever he's done with the auction. I think it's like about two, three hours. He sells a lot of minifigures and sets. And it actually, you know, some, sometimes you get some good deals. All right, so let's hope we get, well, so this is supposed to be the white Boba Fett and Yoda. So let's see, all right. This is kind of a big bag for these two little figures. So this right here, we have uh, Lego Yoda. And then, so this is the white Boba Fett and then the Yoda. It's actually pretty, it's actually a pretty cool little piece, I think. I ended up getting this Boba Fett, surprisingly, for $25. Really not too bad, I don't think. You know, he has a little, um, Range finder. So he has that little range finder, which is not too bad. Uh, the quality actually looks pretty good. It doesn't look really beat up. Because I know a lot of times with these older minifigures, you know, kids sometimes plays with them. Or, you know, some people have them for display purposes. So this you have just a regular plain face. Nothing really too crazy, I don't think. But what I do like about this figure is that it does come with a white jetpack. And if we take off his head... He does have, have some printing on the back, which is actually a pretty good detail, even though it's covered by the jetpack, it's really not too bad to have some detail right there. So overall, this is actually a pretty good figure and I am satisfied with uh, this purchase, just because, you know, I did, I've been wanting this one a little bit and then I ended up getting it in a great deal, so I figured why not, you know, try to get it. And I did end up getting other figures from him in the past, so I kind of knew that this was, at least I was hoping it was uh, going to be legit, but I'm pretty sure that it, it would have been. Then right here, you got a little classic Yoda. It would be nice if this Yoda would at least came with a lightsaber, but sadly it did not. So this is a, I don't know what set this Yoda originated from, but overall it's pretty, pretty clean set. This is the Yoda that has, doesn't have actual hair. It just has the hair printed on there, which is not too bad. 
Uh, this figure actually doesn't look too beat up because as you can see Yoda's face is actually pretty good. His face isn't really beat up at all. And it does have some printing on the back as well, which is not too bad. And you can see his hair is actually kind of weird looking. But overall, yeah, I'm pretty satisfied with these two uh, minifigures. And then I'm pretty satisfied with the packages I ended up getting today. So I don't think I have anything right now that should be coming, uh, at least from... At least not this week. I'm not really sure. I can't think of the top of my head. So if you guys want to continue watching and seeing me build these, I'll have this in a later video. Just so that I'm not making this video too long. I'm just going to show you guys what I picked up. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.